much bigger problems here because as this is a wet clutch, I'm seeing all pieces laying on the top of the transmission here. So all these pieces are in the transmission. I can't, one piece laying in the wrong spot underneath the wrong gear. We'll chew, we'll poke a hole right out the bottom of the housing. Seen it happen with a small piece, so we're going to try and take this input housing off. But we've got some big, big problems here. Oh, this is not good. The tractor's not worth a whole lot as it is. This was supposed to be an easy split. The starter gear came off of the starter and it did some damage in here. Now, if this was a dry clutch, it wouldn't have been a problem, but because this is a wet clutch, it's got access parts, access holes to the housing behind it. So this entire housing down below is full of little pieces and I have to pull this whole, um, front section that houses the PTO and uh, this clutch here I have to pull that off um, so I can clean it I can't get it back with pieces laying in the bottom I don't think there's anything in um, the back section here the filter housing was clean but I still have to uh, um, I see that I have two bolt two bolts you can see the, on the right there that's the that's the back of a bolt and I can't feel the head of that bolt. So we have to take the floor of the cab out and um, uh, support the cab up up on uh, stands um, right on the mount here. And then we have to pull this section off so we can clean it properly. All the pieces are laying in the bottom of this PTO housing. So lots more work. Um, people want their equipment and that's the, the joy of it. I've realized that I used to work hours and hours and hours into the night, two in the morning, three in the morning, but it doesn't seem to stop. Um, I got calls for more work and I learned to just turn it down because um, there's so much, um, there's only so many hours in a day and yeah, you can keep working, but your brain shuts off at around 7 p.m. It's one of these days I don't want to go to work today, but we're going to keep going and um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Vacuumed out the floor, but now there's um, a couple bolts holding this floor in. You can see them there. There's a bunch missing because these rust in and uh, they snap off. So a good little trick is to just hit them with a hammer and just can't get to the bottom to heat them with a torch. So hopefully that shakes the rust loose a little bit. And then when you start taking them off, just uh, don't crank them loose all the way. Go loose, tighten them a bit. Just go a little bit farther every single time. Quarter turn at a time. That, that shakes the rust loose, it doesn't bind, and then you have a better chance of not snapping them. We got the floor out. Um, I can see that top cover now, nice and dirty. Um, I had to take the cab mounts off, I'm gonna raise the cab. Um, the only problem is on the top of this mount here, they've got a castle nut with a cotter pin through it, and it's a big bolt. Um, and of course those cotter pins seize in there, so taking outside the box a little bit, I just took the mounts off the side of the, the tractor here, and then just spin them around. Same as on the other side, I'm gonna take that accumulator off, um, off the bracket there, and then just spin the bracket around, that'll give me room. So I'm gonna pressure wash it, and then we can pull that uh, housing off. I wanna keep as little dirt out as possible. So we gotta cover it up again a little bit, and then go from there. Here we go. So we've got it washed off now, it looks a little cleaner. Underneath there, I can pull that cover off. Um, took the mounts off, and then I just took this bolt out um, on the side here, and then I put these teleposts in. These are actually just posts that are supposed to go in a basement. They're uh, adjustable. They work great for holding the cabs up and uh, odd jobs like this. So you can spin them out to raise them up a little bit. That gives us some room to work. Um, we can get out some hoses and stuff there now. Um, can take this bracket off yet. Uh, 
we want to support it in two spots for sure and once you take um, housings like this off the front you got to be careful that the cab doesn't tip over backwards the center of gravity is now behind the axle these tractors the um, they're all pretty well in front of the back axle so we don't have to worry about that easy way to do that is to just throw a block underneath the tongue at the back um, that generally keeps it from tipping over um, it gives you a little scare so you just want to be careful um, we're going to take those hoses off and stick the jack underneath train a jack underneath and take that front housing off so here we go so we're getting ready to take that uh, pto housing off um, i've got my jack under the front so i can roll it but it's not really a nice spot to sit on so i've got my patent pending tree stake that i bolted to the front and then the strap around the the top and then back down to the bottom so i'm pushing and pulling at the same time can't go anywhere the strap actually keeps uh the bar from coming out should be safe um we've got our cover out i was happy to find that there was no pieces stuck uh i didn't see any steel pieces in any of the gears um you know, want to vacuum as much as you can it's hard keeping uh, everything clean you want to keep it as clean as possible i think i'm going to run some used hydraulic oil through here to the service on a tractor i'm just going to run the used hydraulic oil through it's not any pieces in it it's just old and then drain it again right away and if there is any pieces and change the filter right away and then put new oil in um, after i clean everything out with diesel so uh, we've got our jacks underneath the cab holding the cab up. I did not loosen the two um, mounts at the back just because it actually, it, they're strong enough to hold the, um, the whole back half from tipping. And just in case, I still did put a jack underneath the tongue. Um, nothing heavy duty, just uh, in case it wants to flip over backwards. Uh, it's really tight to get the uh, bolts off. Um, uh, I got the two out of the tranny there, but way, the way they have it, I can't really get my big uh, um, socket set on there or an impact or anything, so I can only get a rat, uh, wrench on there. But a handy trick, if you take a, another wrench and stick it through the teeth like this, you get a nice long wrench, pretty tight. Here, you get a bird's eye view, there you go. See if I can crack them loose, there we go. Nice little trick for that, there you go. So we've got our housing out of our John Deere here, um, and I'm go to the back here, you can see all the pieces in the bottom there, and they were underneath that uh, PTO gear. Um, problem is the shit gets in the bearings in that too, and it's one of those things you might get lucky. The chances of the pieces getting in the bearing are slim, but um, the chances of getting all of these pieces underneath that gear are also slim. And I might have tried. I got some fancy magnets and I've got a, a camera and that to take a look at it. But this is the this is the PTO gear that, that, that sits there. And uh, it's got this cover on it. And I imagine that's for fluid. Um, so it retains a little bit of fluid or extra fluid or... I don't know why that's there, but I do know that there's just enough room for pieces to uh, get stuck in there, and I know that there is pieces in there. I can feel them. So, um, you can hear them there. I freed up there. But, uh, yeah, see, there it is. So, that's, that's one of those things where you can't cut any corners. I have to take the little spot welds off, cut them here, and pull this cover off. Um, hopefully it's not a problem around the shaft, and then I can clean the, that properly. I'd never be able to do that with a magnet any other way. I had to take it apart. That's one of those things where you could let it go, and you might get lucky, and it might just stay there and never cause a problem. Um, but it's also one of those things where you hate looking at your phone, when you know that uh, they're using the tractor because you could get a call any day to say, uh, uh, Rich, we got a problem. Um, if one of those pieces goes underneath the tooth or in between a tooth, it's enough to wreck all of these gears. And I've also seen where pieces go underneath the teeth and it bounces just right. There's not much clearance there. The gear's spinning, catches it and punches it right out the bottom of the, the, the case. Um, and uh, seen that before is not nice. so. Um, we're going to do it right. We're going to take it apart, clean it, make sure it's spotless, um, stick our cameras in the uh, transmission behind there, make sure there's no pieces in there, wash that all out, and then um, sleep good at night knowing that uh, 
he's good to go until something else goes, like his main bearings. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, you're still watching, great. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You never know what you're gonna get. If it's got a throttle, we work on it. Help support the channel by picking up a Tate Boss off TateBoss.com. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich. <laughs>